Alright guys, so today I got a story for you all and I've been working on this for a while now and guys finally I'm done So I'm gonna share with you all and before I begin as soon as I said that this story is 100% fan made It has been made by me. This story is not a part of the original continuation of Dragon Ball So guys once again, this story has been fan made So more than 400 years ago in universe 6 on a planet called Hetherea In a very small village, he was living with his family and they were very poor They had to do something every day to have food on the table and he had two brothers and amongst them he was the strongest he showed amazing physical capabilities and so with that a thousand miles away there used to be a city and in that city every year there used to be a tournament that was held a fighting tournament and he and his friends used to enter the tournament the reason behind that was money they would get a lot of prize money to enter the tournament and with that prize money he'll be able to feed his family and take care of them for at least another year until there's another tournament that takes place see guys in universe 7 on earth the tournament was between one versus one but it's much different on planet hadria in universe 6 instead of one versus one they do it two versus two and right now is the final battle of the tournament where he is fighting alongside his best friend Yazan and they grew up from birth. The bond between He and Yazan is so deep that they would give their life for one another. It's not just that. Yazan is like an older brother to He. And Yazan is just as strong as He, but Yazan possesses even more skills than He, even more deadlier techniques. So right now after a long battle, He and Yazan take down the other two fighters that they're going up against and the tournament concludes. The winners are He and his best friend Yezun. And the ones that they just defeated, they were their close friends as well. They came from the same village as He and Yezun. And now as He and Yezun are leaving the fighting arena, there is three loud bells. And this only happens when another battle is supposed to start. And so now He and Yezun are wondering what is going on. And now all of a sudden on a loudspeaker it says, the collectors are here and the collectors are also known as the assassins and what is happening right now also happened 100 years ago as well the collectors arrive when they feel the presence of great power and great skill and the reason why they look for that that is because they want them to join the organization of the assassins and what that means is they need a new assassin and they go from planet to planet looking for new assassins which they could add on to their organization. And so right now one of the assassins says, you two must fight until the end, until there is only one that is standing. And so now both He and Yezun say, we'll never fight each other. We'll never do that, never. And then one of the assassins says, oh, don't worry, you two will fight. You two will definitely fight. Within the next minute, if you don't, this planet is gone. Everyone that you both love and care for, they'll be gone. This whole planet will not exist anymore if you don't fight. And now both He and Yezun are forced to fight. They have no other option left. And as they go in battle stance, suddenly everything just stops. And He looks around and he wonders what is going on. So what happened right now is Yezun has the ability to slow down time for 30 seconds. And as right now Yezun starts walking towards He. And as soon as Yezun is close to He, Yezun holds the chest of He, and Yezun says, I will never fight you He, you're like a little brother to me, I can never do that. I already know the result of this fight He, and I can never live with myself if I lose you, never. And now as Yezun has tears in his eyes, he says, take care of my family He, this is a goodbye. And so right now there is a massive flash of light within the fighting arena, and everyone is shocked by what they're seeing. There is only one fighter standing in the arena and that is He. What happened right now was Yezun sacrificed himself to save his life and when Yezun had his hands on the chest of He, Yezun transferred all of his powers and skills into He. And one of the skills that Yezun transferred onto He was his most dangerous technique and that is the time skip. And right now He has tears in his eyes and he says, why'd you do this Yezun? Why? And he's also feeling the power within himself right now and he's shocked by all this power and the skills that he has now access to. And as he is still crying, he sees all the memories of Yezun, of all the good times that they had together, of all the trainings that they did together. He also remembers something that Yezun told him when he was very young. And Yezun said, I'll always be there for you here, no matter what, even when I'm not here, I'll always be with you. 
And now one of the assassins says, you'll come with us here. It's time for your final test. And so now he and the assassins disappear from the fighting arena. And they appear right in front of a planet. And this planet seems very familiar to he. And the reason behind that is, that is his home planet, Hedria. And he is still very emotional from what just happened. He just lost his best friend, his brother. And he couldn't do anything about it. So now the leader of the assassins orders he to destroy this planet right in front of him. And he says, no, I can't do that. My family, my family is there. And now the assassins reply back, don't worry, your family is safe with us in our spaceship. And your friend Yezin's family is safe as well. Don't forget, he told you to protect his family. But if you don't destroy this planet, you will never see them ever again. And now with tears in his eyes, he launches a massive energy blast directly at his home planet, Hedria. And then he says, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. And now as Hit is focusing on his home planet, he can feel a very familiar energy. He can feel the energy of his mom, his dad, his two young brothers, and he has his family as well. And the planet is slowly being destroyed. And then one of the assassins says, Hey, don't you want to say goodbye to your family? And in absolute shock, he says, what do you mean? And then he looks at the spaceship, but he cannot feel the energy of his family or Yezun's family at all but he can feel the energy on planet Hedria, his home planet, as it's being destroyed. So what had happened was his family and Yezun's family was never on that spaceship. They never even left the planet. And now in absolute horror, he is seeing his family, his home planet, being destroyed right in front of him. Everything that he ever cared for, gone, and he is responsible for it. And then the planet explodes. Everything is gone just like that and now he slowly turns around and he looks directly at the assassins and the assassins can see an aura coming out of his body and suddenly he appears right in front of the assassins with the time skip that he got from Yezun his best friend and then he tells the assassins you're all dead Anyways guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Do let me know what you guys think about this comment section down below. And guys, this is not the end of the story. If you guys want a part two, let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. Anyways guys, if you guys are brand new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day everyone.